In this video, I want to introduce a technique known as rationalizing. So let's say I want to calculate the limits as x goes to 0 of the square root of 2 plus x minus the square root of 2 divided by x. So I know that if I substitute x equals 0 into the function, I'll end up dividing by 0 here, and I know I cannot do that. I also notice that there's no obvious factorizing I can do to simplify the problem. So what I'm going to do is multiply everything on the top and everything on the bottom by the conjugate of this piece here on top. So let's do that. So we get the limit as x goes to 0, the square root of 2 plus x minus the square root of 2 over x times the square root of 2 plus x plus root 2 divided by the square root of 2 plus x plus root 2. So here's the conjugate, this is a plus, this is a minus. So this looks very different than the original problem. But if you think about it, all I've really done is multiply the original problem by 1. Because this divided by this is simply 1. Okay, so what I want to do is multiply this by this, and this by this. So let's do that. Okay, so the square root of 2 plus x times the square root of 2 plus x will give me the square root of 2 plus x squared. The square root of 2 plus x times root 2 will give me root 2 times the square root of 2 plus x. That's that done. Now, minus root 2 times this will give me minus root 2 times the square root of 2 plus x. Now, minus root 2 times root 2 will give me minus root 2 squared. Now, on the bottom, I want x times all of this. So it'll be x times the square root of 2 plus x plus root 2. Now, I don't actually multiply in the bottom line for reasons which we'll see in a moment. Okay, so let's tidy this up. The square root of 2 plus x squared. Well, the square root and the square cancel each other out, so I'm just simply left with 2 plus x. This piece here and this piece here will cancel each other out. I've got the minus sign. The square root of 2 to be squared will simply give me 2 all over x times the square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. So I'll just make a little bit of room off the top here. Okay, so we get the limit as x goes to 0. Well, 2 take by 2 gives me 0. So I've just got x divided by x times the square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. Now I notice that I can cancel this x into this x. So I get the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 divided by the square root of 2 plus x plus the square root of 2. Again, just make a little bit of room. So now I notice that if I substitute x equals 0 into the function now, I'll no longer be dividing by 0. So now I can take the limit. So I get 1 over the square root of 2 plus 0 plus root 2 is equal to 1 over root 2 plus root 2, which is simply 1 over 2 root 2. Okay, so there's quite a bit of work in that problem, but once you recognize the technique, it's not too bad.